Hey guys, in today's Adobe Photoshop tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a liquefying car. For that, you will need a the untitled pic, which is of size this, 1500 into 1300. You will need a car, I have taken Lamborghini Gallardo. Make sure it is a side view. You will need a cool background which I have taken this. So I will select all by control A. Copy it by control C. And paste it over here. Now I will just resize it. I mean just keep a get a good view. Okay. So now we don't need this, we will close it. So now we'll we'll see at the quick selection tool and select the whole car. Redefine its edge and make it smoother. Copy it. and paste it over here now we are going to make a base for it so first of all we will make it look this side so it looks cool on the left when it liquefies we will make this layer invisible We'll just select and take a new layer. Make sure you have taken black and white color. Okay, like this looks cool. Now we'll change the opacity to 35% will make the car in above the layer of the base we'll just scale it and keep it to the right edge so that we get place for the liquid on left side Now we will take the eraser and erase out the things which we don't want right now. Now we don't need this, we will close it. Now these are the paint splash photos there are many of them I have given the link in the description you can download it from there just select them it is not necessary to select each and every drop just select the major drops
So we are now done selecting the measure. So we'll copy it and paste it here. Now by pressing Ctrl T we'll resize it. That is free transform to we'll resize it. We can even rotate it. Now I'll select pixels and go to adjustment in black and white. And okay, so it becomes black and white. Now I'll take a brush approximately size 32. Select the color of the car from the dropper. And just spray it on. I'm sorry, we have to keep the opacity to 32. Just spray it. Now spray it once more. Just do it according to the color so that it matches the most. Okay, now it has matched very well. We'll press Ctrl D to deselect it. And now we'll take the brush, I mean uh, the eraser, take the opacity 53% and just erase the edges so that it looks as if it has come from above it. So we'll do the same for others other uh, splashes. I'll not show you, you can do it yourself. I have shown you one. So it will look like this. Now we have to take the eraser. And erase those parts which are liquefied. Yeah, you may just take the uh, eraser opacity to 100. So this is how it looks finally.
that's a final image i have done of audio rate before i'll just show it to you check this out so try it out your friends try it out yourself and you can show it on this and you will get both of these pictures on this page do like and subscribe because i upload videos every day thank you